Chris again. So we've got our lemon tree, Meyer lemon, all potted up. And it wouldn't matter if this was a Eureka lemon, a kumquat, a navel orange, frankly an avocado. The soil mixture is all the same. Limited amount of organic matter at the bottom, mixed in with some sand and gravel. Maybe 20% at the most organic matter. Probably a lot less. And then as you have the plant in the container going up, you can add the organic matter. Still not that much. Again, keep it sandy and gravel. So now we've got our citrus tree in here. It's a 15-gallon tree, so I'd say it's between about six and seven years old overall. Um, different citrus mature at different rates. Meyer lemon much slower to grow than, say, a Valencia orange. Uh, Valencia orange would be like this tall and tons of fruit on it, but Meyer lemon a little more mellow. So the first thing I want to do is do a little trimming here so we can encourage some growth. You know, it's a younger tree, so it's a little naked over here. It needs a little bit of growth here and there. It's going to get full sun, so it's got this new sucker growth here. It's reaching there. You know, take this back. Got this really long branch here that just took off. I'm going to bring that back down into here. Another really long one. It's got some fruit on it, but the, the lower stem on it's also got some more mature fruit on it. So I'm going to take that back a little bit. And again, always go back at least 10 feet and look at your plant and size it up and see what you want to take off. That one back there had about 10 new lemons and some flowers on it. You know, we're going to leave that on there, let that fruit develop, and this one flush growth. You know, maybe at the time that the lemons are harvested back there, this can be brought back again six inches or so. But we want to also have steady fruit development. We also want to make sure that the trunk is clean. There can be some small thorns on here. So we want to get on here and check that. It's a real pleasure to grab on a tree while you're doing some gardening and wind up with a half inch thorn in your palm. Yeah, skirt it up. Skirt it up means to raise up the tree line a little bit. So we're going to get rid of that in there. And um, let's skirt this last one here. So this gives us some good space. I suggested some uh, basil or even three or four tomato plants in here. That gives us plenty of room. Now we've got to get the plant watered and settled in a little bit. Make sure everything's fine here. There's nothing broken or... Yeah, we're all good. Oh, we have some branches touching this wall. I'll say that in general that's a really bad idea because ants will walk off the wall onto the tree. It's hard enough keeping them out of the pot. And so we're going to bring these branches that are on the wall back here. We're going to get those off the wall. And our ants can carry scale, mealy bugs, other pests, white flies, they'll actually move them onto the tree. So, one, we want to keep them off the pot. Two, we want to keep them off the tree from other locations. So that, that means there's nothing touching the wall. Now, since our base is sand and gravel, we don't have to worry about this tree sinking the way it would if it was going into the lawn area of the backyard. But it is extremely important to get this thing very, very wet. And in a container like this, you know, we're in Thousand Oaks, Southern California, Inland Valley area. It's September. Today was about 85. The last few days have definitely been close to 100. Uh, days like that, 
you're going to water this at least every other day once it's um, established. If it was an avocado, you'd be watering it every day. Citrus leaves are a little stronger than avocado leaves. And there's nothing wrong with spraying off the foliage. I hear people say, oh, the sun burned the leaf. Really? Then you guess we should never get water on our skin? Okay, we're, let's calm down and think rationally. Yellow tag again means this plant it meets the standards of the California Department of Food and Agriculture and is in compliance with the United States Department of Agriculture. Remember, lots of pest issues going on. Please do not take yellow tag citrus and move it out of Southern California into Bakersfield or Northern California. NorCal Citrus should have a blue tag on it. And for everybody who's out of the state, the same thing applies. Texas Citrus also is yellow tag. And there's, if it's yellow tag, it has to stay in Texas in the quarantine area. If it's blue tag, it can go out of Texas. Do not accept citrus from a grower that does not have a blue tag on it if you're outside um, Quarantine. You can go to Save Our Citrus now and check it out. They've got our water in here. Now we're just going to add a modest amount of planting mix to make it look attractive until the homeowners pick out something. Obviously you don't want to take it all the way to the rim because whatever they pick out also has to have room to be potted up in here. And you can see there's a little bit of uh, vermiculite in here, perlite, but this is pretty much 95, 98% all organic matter. The nitrogen gets in there and it feeds the bacteria and it just goes straight down. So it's good mix. It's master nursery mix. I don't know who makes it for them. Maybe Kellogg. We're going to leave our finished grade about two inches below the rim of the container and then begin cleaning up. So that's how to properly pot up a citrus in a container. And that's just as much true for inside as outside. Thank you.